You saw the title of this video and you said, oh man, John's clickbaiting now? No, I promise you, I am not clickbaiting. This is real. I have a cichlid that no one else has and I can't wait to show it to you. But first things first, it's 111 degrees here right now and it's absolute madness. And I've been working in this heat nonstop putting together the fish room. Got the 400 behind me. It's really a 360, but who cares? Then I've got the two 125s set up. Those are for another video. But today it's all about these fish that are in the 240. I'm facing away from the lights. I know I look dark right now, but who cares? It does, it's not about me, it's about the fish. Before I get in there and show them to you, each individual fish and show you the two that I have that no one else has, let's take a look at Lisa's unboxing footage. I was at work when these fish came in and she was nice enough to unbox them for me. So let's take a look at that and then we'll look at the fish. Well, I just saw FedEx pull up and leave. So I'm assuming that the fish are here. Wow, oh my gosh. Three boxes. I am so excited because we have no idea what Josh sent us. So this is exciting. This is like Christmas. Three boxes of fish. Three. Here goes. Let's see what Josh sent us. I'm so excited about this. Here goes. Laura, nice, nice. Oh my God, the colors are beautiful. Wow. Check out this red empress. Wow. It's a kiwi. She wanted to help me unbox, so that's why you put a little me out. Huh. Eureka Red. You, you've got to have a Eureka Red. I mean, you've just got to have one. This is an Azurus, and I took him out because when I went to open it, it looks like Cosmoli. <laughs> All right, so I found this little rubber band. I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it up, keep a real close eye on him, and go ahead and let him be the first one to come out. White blaze, I mean, absolutely beautiful. Pretty. Beautiful, yellow blaze. Midnight. Bucanoto, how about that? So that's it, that is all three boxes 
I am, I'm just so shocked. I mean, for real, we have got the nicest fish that, we probably got the best fish, uh, seriously. I'm super shocked and I'm excited. And I know when John sees these fish, he's gonna be so excited because when he comes home and sees these fish, they're gonna actually be in this tank, swimming around, and they're gonna be so happy, they're gonna be colored up 100% and they're gonna look great. All right, so I gave the fish some time to acclimate and it's time to go ahead and get them out of these bags and get them in the tank. So I'm gonna start off with the one fish that I had nicked the bag and I had to wrap the rubber band around and I'm gonna go ahead and get him started first. So I'm only going to really highlight the fish that are new that just came in uh, that Lisa just unboxed uh, There's six other fish in here that I already had and uh, so I'm not gonna be spending any time talking about those But maybe I'll point them out. I don't know But we're gonna start off here now with the buco noto buco chromis nototania That's probably the only one that I'm actually gonna use a scientific name for um, I'm gonna use common names here because that's what I always go by the Buconoto is one of my all-time favorites. Absolutely love him. And he just kind of chills out up there in that little nook in the Universal Rocks background. Very, very cool. Um, now, let's work our way down. Let's see if we can find another one. So the Ethelwaney Peacock, not sure. Oh, he's gonna show real good. Go up a little bit so we can see your colors. One of my favorite peacocks. It's almost like Josh knows what my favorite ones are. So. He is looking really, really good. Ethelwaney peacocks, their fins almost look velvety, which is something that I really, really love. This guy here is an Imperial Tigress that just got scared away by the dragon blood. This guy is amazing. Absolutely love him. I'm gonna pretty much say that about every single one of these fish, right? I mean, come on, that's, that's just the way it works here. Now we move on to a Eureka Red Jake. Another one of my favorites. Uh, this guy is showing so much red. He looks so good. Oh yeah, yeah, you saw that other fish, that other red one there, didn't you? Okay, we're gonna get to that one, don't worry. Then we've got a living stone eye with a nice blue face. Uh, he was trying to be the tank boss, but it didn't work out for him. And uh, I'm gonna show you the tank boss here soon enough, don't worry. but. The Living Stone Eye, that's another one. He's gonna get really, really big. And if he ever gets frisky and thinks there's a girl in the tank, he's gonna turn fully blue. You gotta love that. And then down here, another guy just chilling. This massive blue dolphin. This thing is out of control. He's like nine inches, huge. And of course, gorgeous. Another one that I have so much love for, really excited about that one. So then let's see here. 
The Yellow Blaze, another one. I mean, they're all my favorites, folks. Come on. This guy, look at the blaze on him. It is striking. He looks so good and he's super dark. Yes, he does have a little mark on him. They were all trying to figure out who the tank boss is going to be. And some of them took, took a little bit of battle scars with them, but you know, they'll heal up. They'll be fine. Uh, here is the Azerus. Uh, I am a huge fan of this fish. Blue fish. I mean, you, you got to love blue fish, right? I mean, of course. This is one of those haps that kind of looks like a peacock, but it's not. It's a hap. <laughs> so let's see what else we got here. Saving that one. The Angara flame tail peacock. This one is, come on now, focus. There we go. Look at him. He's, he's displaying for us. Absolutely beautiful. Red Empress Hap, another one, kind of a staple in the African cichlid hobby. You got to have a Red Empress or you're not really going to be able to call your tank a Hap tank. Down below that is a fish that I need to get a little bit of clarification from Josh on uh, because I thought it was an Insignus and then I watched Lisa's unboxing video and they had it labeled as a Midnight. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. I thought it was an Insignus. Either way, it's a gorgeous fish. I just looked at their website. I don't see a midnight on there. So I don't know. Gonna need to get a little clarification there and I will let you know. So moving over here is one that has taken a little bit of damage. It's unfortunate. Let me stand up here. It's unfortunate he has taken a little bit and if things don't improve, I'm gonna go ahead and pull him out and put him in his own tank. He's fine, but he's just got some battle scars, uh, nothing really out of control, but you can see his dorsal fin is eaten up a little bit. Uh, and it's weird because he's one of the bigger fish in the tank. Uh, I'm not quite sure why he took a hit like that. In the back there is a Buco Spectabilis. That's how I call it. It's the first one I've ever had. I've never had a, a Buco, Sp <laughs> yeah, say that again, John. Buco Spectabilis, I've never had one of those, uh, but I am a huge fan. Looks a lot like the Buconoto, but instead of the aqua green, it's a nice dark navy blue. Absolutely stunning. All right, let's move over here to probably my new favorite African cichlid. Look at that guy. It is the Rostratus. That's what I call him. Uh, I could easily be mispronouncing these names, but come on now, everybody's getting in the way. The Rostratus, look at that guy. He is incredible. Uh, he has been bickering with the uh, dragon blood that I had in the tank before, but you can see he doesn't really have a mark on him. So I think you know who's winning that battle, but I think they've pretty much straightened everything out, but not 100% sure. So now we go to <laughs> quite possibly the most beautiful African cichlid I've ever seen in my life. I am a sucker for OBs, yes it's true, but this OB is an absolute rock star. Look at this guy, unreal how red he is. And it probably doesn't show up all that great on camera. This fish is fire engine red, folks. I mean, it's absolutely unbelievable. And I actually found out that he was a breeder for Josh and uh, produced some amazing fry, but he decided to go ahead and retire him. And he said he'll, he wanted to send him along so that he can live a good life in his retirement. So thank you so much to Josh for that. He is an absolute stunner. Last time I got fish from them, they sent me a beautiful, uh, predominantly yellow OB. This time it's red and I could not be happier. So now let's move to the fish, there they are, both are in the frame at the same time. The fish that I have, that nobody else does. This is what Live Fish Direct calls the Superman Hap. Obviously it's called Superman for the colors. Um, this is a hybrid. So if you're not a fan of hybrid cichlids, then you might wanna turn your head because this is a hybrid. It is a cross between what two fish. You can probably guess one of them because he looks very similar. It's a cross between a Taiwan Reef Hap and a Lethronops Intermedius, uh, which works out pretty well because the Lethronop Intermedius is Lisa's favorite African cichlid. So to have a fish that is a cross 
with one of those is amazing. Come on, where's the focus? Hello. This isn't embarrassing at all. That is a good looking fish. It has the qualities of a Taiwan reef, but the shape of an lethronaut. So you gotta love that. Now, they also, if you saw in the, uh, let me find them, oh, there he is. In the unboxing video, there is a Superman A and a Superman B. This one really has the shape of a lethronaut. So what Josh said was, the reason why they're A and B is because sometimes they come out favoring the Taiwan Reef side, and sometimes they come out favoring the Lethronop side. And so they named them accordingly. I'm not sure which one is which, but uh, I don't know which one's A and which one's B. I'd probably really have to study that unboxing video, but they are absolute stunners uh, because they have Lethronops in them. It, they're gonna have kind of that, come on, really? Is it really gonna lose focus that bad? They're probably gonna have kind of that pearl look to them while also having those red, white, and blue markings. You really can't go wrong with that fish. It is an absolute stunner, just like all of them are. I mean, they're, what can I say? I, I'm, I'm just absolutely thrilled. I think we do have, we have two left. Uh, one of them is hiding up in the corner. This is a Kiwi Hap. Uh, this is another first timer for me. I've never had one of these. It is a male. He was showing a lot of blue earlier, but I think that the, uh, the, the power play that's been going on in this tank kind of stressed him out a little bit. And so he, he did dim his color, but uh, he was really, really blue before. So it'll come back, he'll be fine. So really excited about that one. That's another one that's gonna be a pretty good size. And then the last one, gotta find them is another one that has been really trying to get in the mix as far as who is Tank Boss, and that is the White Blaze. Love, love, love that guy. I love the shape of him. I don't know, it's just kind of a different shape, um, but that gorgeous White Blaze. I, I am a, I'm a sucker for a fish that has a blaze, whether it's yellow or red or orange or white, I don't care, I don't know. It's the Mohawk thing, I just absolutely love it. So. There we go, there they are up close. The Rostratus, I mean, I, I don't even know what to say about that fish. <laughs> Both of those right there, the, uh, the OB and the Rostratus. Did we talk about the Yellow Blaze? I think we did. Oh, it's so confusing because there's so many in here. I don't know the exact number. One of these days, I'm gonna count them to let you know exactly how many fish are in here. If I'm guessing, I'm guessing there's about 24 fish in here somewhere around there. Oh, did we miss this one? The Imperial Tigress? No, I think I talked about him. It's so hard to know which ones I did and which ones I didn't. I'm not doing this with any kind of script or anything and I'm not gonna do a voiceover because I want this to be real. So there we are, folks. This is the newest shipment from Live Fish Direct. I could not be happier if you haven't figured that out already. Go over to livefishdirect.com. This is the kind of quality you can expect to come from that store. Just absolutely amazing. They have never disappointed me and they certainly haven't disappointed me this time.